Okay, when he got there, the father told the servant, go get a 
service for Sheila Staff. First Lady of the Church, Mr. Cole Campus of Tadeo, Washington. And to the Mountain Bronze members, those of you who want to come and those of you I know people who want to come. I understand that to you. But I don't think you're going to be able to take that. So we're going to take it for what it is. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the moment that we have come to you. Thank you for this church. It's great to hear, Lord God, doing great things. Bless the flock, Lord God. Bless us, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 That you be lifted up. Decrease, Brother James, Lord God, and lift up the name of Jesus. That your word will go forth with power. Change some lives. And save some souls. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Of Luke the 15th chapter, 11 through the 32nd verse. You don't know have the season. I'm not going to read it. She explained it very well. Amen. But if I want to put a tag on it or a this morning for your homecoming, it's good to have insurance. If you don't leave here with anything today, you're going to know what insurance is. And why is it important to have insurance? I hear people talk about all state, state farm, Michael, and whatever else insurance is. I hear a lot of people talk about those types of insurance, but why do they purchase insurance? The reason for giving them both your money, you anticipate something might happen that's going to cover you. That's life, death, car, house. But the Pacific and Western says a promise of compensation for a Pacific potential future losses in exchange for a periodic payment. <laughs> Insurance is designed to protect the financial well-being of an individual. Companies are other entities in the case of unexpected loss. Some forms of insurance are required by law, while others are optional. PIP is full cover. Agreeing the terms of an insurance policy creates a contract between the insurer and the insurer. In exchange for payment from the insured called premiums. The insurer agrees to pay the policyholder a sum of money upon occurrence of a specific event. In most cases, the policyholder pays part of the loss called the deductible. And the insurer pays the rest. Examples includes car insurance, health insurance, disability insurance, life insurance, and business insurance. But I want to talk about today soul insurance. Let's skip the preliminaries and go to the text. Because the text shows that a father, amen, had two sons. My only question was to read this text so many times is, where's the mom? I know it. But it has nothing to do with the physical. All right. Tell us about it. It's dealing with the spiritual. That's why he said, a father had two sons. One was old and one was young. Yeah. But the youngest son decided that he heard of his father who had the insurance policy. Yeah. Who had been paid up his policy yeah. and decided to share it with his son. Well. In the midst of sharing, I believe the eldest son uh, saw how everything was going outside and talked his little son, his, his little brother, into going to see if he could get the owner of the policy, uh, which was the father, uh, could have said, no, son, I'm not giving it to you. You're not young. You haven't earned it. But because of the father that he was, and he asked, he gave it to him. Am I 
not get from me. Yes, I'm on. Come on. Mm -hmm. He didn't work for it. He didn't earn it. He, but, but he said, I want the portion that's mine. Back in that day, Abraham's father wasn't going to give him anything. He wasn't entitled to nothing. But his father had compassion and gave it to him. Well, the father sometimes always gives you something that you maybe don't want. And he gave him his part. I don't believe he gave him any instructions because he said he has mind made up. He said, I want my portion. Give it to me now. I'm out of here. Some of y'all got some kids like right? oh, yeah. okay. yeah. On the back end of the text, we're talking to them later. <laughs> but on the front end, we're going to deal with them. He gave it to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he took his money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he went and did some riotous living. Yeah. But I got to go back to Y'all may not understand what riotous living is. Oh, it was. 
back on the way. You can stay some break. One thing about this text that's very strange to me is that the son knew how bad he was. And he practiced what he was going to say before he got home. And your heart tells you to go on back there. Tell them you're sorry. I know you cussed them out. I know you took the pins out of the piggy bank. I know you took that pile of stone. Yes, you did. You took the car and didn't show them. But you can go back. You can go back. Thank you, Lord. And when you go back, go back, go back. That's what he was doing. He was practicing on how to practice on how to practice on what he's going to say when he did but God has a way Thank you, Lord. to speak into the hearts of those who you think are worthy. That's why he told us that our enemy would be our pursuit. Little children, you don't mess up real bad. And you know you're going to get a whip. Stop praying. Stop calling Jesus. It's all about saving my whipping on you. Bye. 